Hi everybody, this is Michelle from Virtual Hand Care. And in this video, I wanna show you two exercises that you can do to help with top of the forearm pain. So if you are having pain right here on the top of the forearm, it could be your radial nerve. So if you are doing lots of typing, maybe video games, maybe a lot of gripping or lifting, that radial nerve can get really aggravated in the small little space that it goes through as it comes down into your arm. So these exercises are actually what are called nerve glides or nerve flossing exercises. So these are different from your typical stretching type of techniques. And nerves aren't typical, so so they really don't like to be overstretched, but they do like to move nicely and glide and slide through those little spaces. They don't like to be stuck and compressed. So with these two exercises, the first one is gonna be more of a beginner type of exercise and it's gonna be more of a mobilization and it's gonna get that nerve to just move a little bit. So this one is in particularly very good for somebody that is having a lot more kind of active pain and active soreness and you're looking to calm it down. This would be kind of your go-to exercise to try for that. And so then exercise number two, you would build on top of that to get more glide and flossing of that nerve. So you wanna make sure none of these exercises cause any kind of pain, achiness, numbness, tingling, anything like that. So symptom-free, nice and slow, Let's go. Okay, exercise number one. You can do this sitting or you can do this standing. What you wanna do, if you're feeling a lot of top of the forearm pain, you want to rotate that palm up. And then what you wanna do is you want to elevate the shoulder and then you want to bring the head over at the same time. What we're doing is we are we are slacking that nerve. So we're giving it a break or shortening it. And then what you wanna do is come back down. So this up shortens it and then coming back down puts a little bit more of a stretch on that nerve. So we're looking to get it to move without being painful. So let's do this one together and down, up and down. And down. Okay, so exercise number two, this one is gonna be in a couple of different phases. And again, you wanna progress slow and you don't want to have any pain or symptoms with any of these exercises. So for the first part of exercise number two, what you're gonna do is you're going to bring the shoulder up and then drop the shoulder down. So that's shoulder depression. So shoulder depression is the first part of that exercise. Now, if this feels okay, then you would wanna progress on to the next part of the exercise. And that's where you turn the hand away from your body. So palm is facing away from my body and thumb is pointing behind me. So if that feels good, but if you felt like you would if you went a little farther, it would cause more pain, then your glide would look like this. It would be depression and rotation, and then you would relax, and you would do depression and rotation. Now, if say you didn't feel anything with that, so then we go into depression and rotation, and then you wanna to go to the third part of the exercise, and that's where you bring the wrist and the fingers um, away from your body a little bit more. Fingers are pointing away from my body. And then of course, if this one feels okay, but you don't think you'd wanna go anymore, then you would just relax that and you would do, and then your nerve glide would be down, rotate, and fingers up. And then that would be your glide. Now, if you get to this point and it feels really good, then you would wanna, would wanna progress to then the next step, step number four. And that's where you start bringing the arm out to the side and even back a little bit. So you're a little bit kind of diagonal to your body. 
Now, usually that step is enough to where people start feeling it into the arm. Now, if you're feeling a lot of pulling, then you would wanna stay with this step, step number three. You wouldn't wanna to progress to step number four. But if that one feels okay, then what you would do is then you would progress then on to the last step, step number five, and that's where you start bringing the head over in the opposite direction, and then you start pulling that arm up a little bit higher out to the side. And then you would relax back down. So then the whole radial nerve glide would look like this. Depress the shoulder down, rotate the hand away from your body, Bring that wrist up. Bring that whole arm out and away from your body at a little bit of an angle. And then bringing your neck away from the arm. And then back down. So let's do a couple of those together and we're gonna go just a little bit faster but more of a fluidus movement. Ready? Down, rotate, up, out, and across, down, rotate, up, out, across, down, rotate, up, out, and across. Good. And so again, you could end up just doing these nice and fluidus to where they feel good and just do them a little bit faster as you get a little bit more mobility and and as this nerve starts calming down into the forearm. Now again, those two exercises should feel good. The forearm should not have more pain or more achiness. So do make sure that you're doing those correctly. Do incorporate those nerve flossing exercises a couple of times a day, about three to five repetitions of each. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of those nerve glides and let me know how those felt for you. And if you found this video helpful, do please give it a like and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And don't forget to check out these videos here that YouTube is suggesting for you. Thanks for watching.